Well, howdy, folks. I'm in Mandeville today, and this is what we have in front of us. The guy who called me, he wants to keep these bees. Hopefully everything goes well, and I'll take them with me, and then we'll meet up on the other side of the lake, maybe in about four or five days, something like that. When people want a hive, I always want to set them up and then you know, inspect them a time or two just to make sure everything's going well and the queen's laying and all that good stuff. So uh, That's interesting. Look at all the insulation that they've pushed out. Yep, the bees did all that, folks. Well, I wish this pipe wasn't in the way, but uh, I guess my back will be feeling great after this one. I don't think so. Here they are, folks. We got chicken wire. We got some hog chain here. We'll have to cut the chicken wire, pull it down. You know, we don't know how far this way it goes, but uh, maybe it won't be that big of a deal. I'm hoping because they've been busy. You see him when they're bringing in pollen galore. Let me go grab my wire cutters and uh, see if we can't expose this thing. Might cut it over here. We'll make it make it easier to, to reattach. A little extra. And in case they try to run over here, I don't have to cut it twice. I just cut it right there on the floor joist. They all busy. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Nice, healthy, huh? Actually, so they got a little, a little more going on than I thought, which is. Good, because I didn't think they had much going on. Nice looking ball of bees and should have fairly decent access. I'm, I am going to fire up the bee back in a minute though, so we could get our numbers down and you know we're in a, working in an awkward position. So the, the bee backs got to come out on this, folks. They may have been here last year, you know, before winter. I think that, that they said they were seeing them before winter. This is the newest stuff. See how white that comb is right there? And this is where they started. So. This comb's going to be a little bit darker. But normally the, the, the new stuff is white like this. So just think, thank goodness they didn't continue back this way, right? <laughs> or uh, I would have, you know, had to deal with the hog chain. And so I think we caught them just at the right time, folks.
All right, folks, this part of the process is done. Uh, I'll bring them on the other side of the lake, set them up, and uh, release the queen in a couple of days or so. And then uh, I'll show you me doing that, and then I'll give you an update uh, to see, you know, if she's laying, if we got eggs and so forth. And uh, anyway, you know, I've been here a while, folks, and it wasn't that it was. It should have been that complicated of a removal, but I had literally lay on a six inch pipe the whole time and uh, it was uncomfortable folks. So uh, that's what took so long. And then I had this uh, hog chain retaining fence thing underneath there. So I was against that and laying on this six inch pipe. I'm just glad it's over folks. I'll mention one uh, little thing here. So uh, I decided to, uh, Go ahead and put the, the the catch box the big catch box on top the brood box and uh and pull them uh so that they can drop down and tend to the queen she was looking a little squirrely there folks so you know sometimes those queens they, they'll get stressed you know and uh you just need to get some bees on them and loving on them and then they you know they're fine after that you know so uh but i was i was seeing the writing on the wall so i said i better go ahead and set them up so uh they should be fine and uh, more updates coming. Well, let's uh, see if our Mandeville crawl space bees have dropped down to cover brew. They, they should have. They could put peak. Yeah, for the most part. I can live with that. That's a lot of bees. So I'll go ahead and take that catch box off. But I'm going to give them a little smoke because uh, it's just a lot of bees. And I would consider these gals pretty gentle, even though I got stung like at least 20 times yesterday. But I was in tight quarters. You know, the bees coming and going constantly. It was just awkward. I don't blame them girls. But I am going to give them a little smoke and then I'm going to take that catch box off. goes on top all right next time you see me go in it will be to release the queen another day or two okay all right folks it's been two days since we've removed the bees from mr dale from the crawl space in mandeville i was gonna maybe go in uh and release it yesterday but i usually wait two to three days but uh as you can see we had a bunch of rain you can see the droplets on top of the telescoping cover but let's go ahead and uh we're gonna release her today okay she uh, was looking a little stressed, and uh, that's why we went ahead and combined the bees with her. 
on site. But let, let's see how she's doing. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, she perked back up. That's what they normally do. As long as they have a little bit of a life, life uh, and they're not, not too, too stressed, they, uh, you know, once you combine the bees with them, they usually perk up. So let's go ahead and take off the telescope and cover. And you can see we got, uh, so it looks like some healthy bees here. Give them a little, a little puff. Let's go ahead and take the inner cover off. We'll go ahead and get a frame out. And move it aside so that we have room to pull the other ones. I think we got one in my face right now that's, uh, I guess, doesn't really care for my intrusion. <laughs> Let's pull this aside. They're definitely drawing out new comb. See that? Let's see what this looks like. Actually, you know what I recall now? I put her on a frame, I believe, with the foundation. So they've uh, attached the, the comb to the frame here. They've done a pretty good job of that. Are you seeing that? See, this is the top. I inverted it. See how they they attached the new comb to the frame. So it's pretty secure. Let's put this back and let's go ahead and let's go ahead and find our queen. Let's put this down. Show you how they've secured this one too. They're looking, looking strong. They're looking real strong. Let's just see here. What we got? Okay. Yeah. See, they they draw out some new comb up here. Attached it at the top. Yeah, they're doing doing a pretty good job. Got a queen cell over here or queen cup. All right, the, the, uh, the, so they've chewed through the rubber bands and the queen cage uh, has fallen onto the bottom board. So we need to reach in and get her out of there. And bear with me a second while I do that. I got a bee flying around in my face. Reach down and grab her. Okay, there we go. Put this down here. So we need to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put our frames back together, and then we'll release our queen. Just slip this one back in. Yeah, I said uh, earlier these are going to Mr. Dale. Let's go ahead and put that on. All right, maybe we'll release it right off. Right on top of the inner cover, I don't know. Now, well, first of all, let's shake some bees off, see what she's looking like. She's looking good. Right, see her running around in there? Looking good, looking plump. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's see if we can go ahead. Release her. Let's see. Just let her go. Oh, well, there she goes. All right. Go. Oh, well, there she goes. All right. Hope you got that. That just didn't take long at all. Okay. Look at that, folks. Give him a little smoke. And uh, let's see what I do with the hive, too. Well, let's just go in. Uh, we're going to pull a frame like we normally do. Just so that we have some room to work with to allow us to pull out the frames. And uh, look at this, they're drawing this out nicely. Honestly, uh, when I come across eggs, that's, that's going to be it. Because I'm trying to work on the next video, folks. So I just want to give them give a good peek. And if I find eggs, then uh, I don't know if we're going to pull too many frames then. This is, this is one that they kind of just started working a little bit. You can see there's some, some fresh nectar. The Chinese Taliflow is on big time right now. A couple of drones. So now we have room to go in and deal with these other frames. They're ready for another box now. And I talked to Dale earlier and I told him that, hey, look, these bees are, 
probably busting out. Uh, they're going to need more room soon. I said, well, let me go ahead and check them. I'll yell at you and uh, see if you need to come pick them up this weekend. Talaflow, it's on, and these girls are busy. I see you. I got two in my face right now. They let me know. We don't like you too much right now. Well, guess what? Here's some a little adjustment for you. This could be one, folks. Let me see. Something happening. Look how pretty this is. I, mean, I think I'm seeing, seeing some fresh stuff here. Seeing royal jelly. There's some eggs down there. I think I'm seeing some eggs. We're gonna get these bees to move out the way. I don't want to blow on them. I'm gonna smoke them a little bit. Just because they seem like they're a little bit on edge. I'm gonna get them to move. Okay, I'm seeing eggs. Don't sting me. I'm gonna pull one more. Maybe it'll be more obvious. And then, oh god, that next one just covered. Oh, we definitely got eggs. And young Marvy on this one, though, folks. We got a crap load of bees on this side. I don't know if it's coming in or not, folks. But we definitely have some eggs and larvae, or young larvae, mm -hmm. several of these cells. Ah, I don't want to zoom in at the bottom of the cells. Anyway, I'm putting this one back. And just for the heck of it, I think I will pull the next one. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, this next one. Oh. I know one side was loaded. Yeah, I'm seeing eggs pretty good on this one. Okay. Fresh neck is dripping on my leg, folks. All right, well, this is as far as I'm gonna go, okay? But they're doing great. They really are doing fantastic. So anybody would be happy with these bees. So Mr. Dale's gonna be happy with these. A few give me signals, you know. And uh, I think we're good. Let's put this back. All right, everybody, get out the way. Okay, good. Now, give them a little smoke, run them down. But these girls are doing great. Great, some good bees here, folks. Productive. Uh, I'd say pretty gentle, you know, pretty gentle. That's it. Okay. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, folks. Another one from JP the Bee Man. I'm having a fantastic day, and I hope you are too. To the next one.